Hello, my name is Andrew Smith. Tiny Switch has been a very successful product for power integrations. We've shipped over 6 billion parts. And today I'd like to tell you how Tiny Switch 5 is taking that legacy and improving efficiency by 4% without changing the schematic. What I have here is a schematic of a Tiny Switch offline flyback power converter. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how we've been able to improve efficiency with a new family. I've taken off the input filter. We have a bulk capacitor. I've missed off the primary clamp. We have a flyback winding, a power transistor. In this case, it's a MOSFET, an output winding, a rectifier diode, output bulk capacitor, and then output sensing circuit, and a little feedback optocoupler providing input to the primary side control chip. That's pretty much all you need to provide a, a regulated power supply. So how have we been able to push efficiency to as high as 92% for Tiny Switch 5? The reason the efficiency on Tiny Switch 5 is so high is because of the way the controller reacts to changes in the optocoupler feedback current. As the current reduces, as the output load increases, then the time between switching cycles is reduced. This increases switching frequency and allows more energy per unit time to be transferred to the secondary. At the same time, the switching frequency causes us to increase the current limit per switching cycle. So by combining higher frequency and more power per cycle, because the current limit is higher, we allow to deliver more energy to the output. This gets us very high full load efficiency. Conversely, at light load, as the current fed feedback increases, then the time between switching cycles is increased, reducing switching frequency and also reducing ILIM. This gives us very, very good efficiency, better than 85%, even at 1% load. This means that we have very flat efficiency across the entire load range for Tiny Switch 5. As load continues to reduce, we get to the point where we have no load. No load on Tiny Switch 5 is less than 30 milliwatts. So the efficiency performance across all load conditions for Tiny Switch is extremely good. Another benefit of this method of control is that we can deliver more power. Tiny Switch 5 can now deliver more than 190 watts of output power. To deliver 190 watts of output power, we need different package options. And Tiny Switch 5 comes with through hole or surface mount devices. Surface mount allows us to use PCB cooling. Through hole devices typically give us the option to use a heatsink. As well as being able to offer very high full load efficiency, flat efficiency cross load, and very low no load power consumption in a device that can deliver up to 190 watts. Tiny Switch 5 also adds additional protection features. We have input under voltage and over voltage protection, output short circuit, over current and over voltage protection, and over temperature protection, all built into the product family. To find out more, visit us at power.com.